patrol, patrol. I can't speak. Patrothal? I know what this word patrol. Where's my ball? I need to know how to say this word correctly. Craving his touch was never part of the plan. <laughs> Don't I always thought that way? Hello and welcome back to another video. Let me get settled first. As you can see, yeah. And I also have more books in front of me. We are not proud of this moment. This is going to be the last actual book haul video of this year on my channel. After today, I will be placing myself on a buying book ban. Yeah, the BBB must be enforced. Buying books is a treat. If I do go and buy more books, I would not be buying it in bulk. I need to put a break on it. I really do. So I'm gonna put myself another buying book ban. I was doing really good, then I fell off the tracks and it resulted into this. But we're gonna put ourselves right back on the track. Although, there are books here that was gifted to me. So it was not on me. Anyway, um, I have not done an actual unboxing in a while and I'm really excited to unbox these for you. I thought maybe I could show some of the books that I've already opened and then, you know, just open a package. Okay, I have my, <laughs> my tools, my cloud, and I have this. So I have this and this, we're gonna get started. The first two books that I got are books that I've told myself on this channel that I hope I would read them before I buy them but I ended up buying them anyways this is not surprising anymore it's these two books from the Knock Em Out series this one is Things We Hide From The Light which is the second one and I have Things We Left Behind which is the series finale can I say finale or just the last book in the series this one follows Lucian and this one follows Nash I just wanted to admire these covers on my bookshelf as well that's not valid reason to buy books start off the stack with two very very thick but tiny books next one I have is the way I used to be by Amber Smith and I know this one contains trigger warnings this is about a girl who was traumatized and was great by her brother's best friend. This is going to be told in four parts. We're going to go through Eden's freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year as she navigates what happened to her. This is going to be a very deep book, I'm assuming it's going to be. Not one to take lightly, so I need to be in a space when I read this one. And this one has a sequel that just came out. I think this one is going to make me feel things when I read it and I look forward to that. This is going to be on my TBR for next year or maybe this year. I don't know. The year's not over yet but I don't think I'm going to be reading this this year. Before I continue on with that, let's, let's open one of these. I don't know what this one is. Oh, I got another Lucy Score book. This one is Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. On the top it says, starting over never looked so good. What happened to her? Okay, so she accepts a temporary position as PE teacher and soccer coach at her old high school. She enlists the help of Jake Weston, high school bad boy turned sexy good guy, becomes her new fake boyfriend and alibi for a price. It gets better. He'll teach her how to coach if she teaches him how to be in a relationship. And this is a very gorgeous cover. I feel like I should remove the labels. Hold on. Let me do this and then I'll continue. Okay, we can get back to it now. I actually did not realize that the packaging for this one was already open. So when I tried to rip off the label, the book just slid out. So I might as well just show what is in this one. Ah, this one is Wish You Were Here, a novel by Renee Carlino. I actually have another book of this author on my bookshelf called Where We Were Strangers and I have not read that one yet. For some reason, the vibe I get from this author is that she writes a lot of books with angst in it. Even her titles pull at you. This one is about Charlotte who has spent her 20s adrift searching for a spark to jumpstart her life and give her a sense of purpose. She's had as many jobs as she's had bad relationships. Then she collides literally with Adam, an intriguing, handsome, and mysterious painter. Oh, it turns into a one-night stand. The dude just leaves. Apparently his tune changed and Adam left. 
Well, it is a one night stand. Months later, her new relationship with Seth, a charming baseball player, is turning into something more meaningful. Oh, but Charlotte's having a trouble moving on from that one night with Adam. Is this a love triangle? For some reason, I feel like it's not like that, but she has to choose between either continuing what she has with Seth or keep holding on to what she had with Adam. Next one is a book by Allie Hazelwood. It's Check and Mate. I have seen this around and I wanted to get this. This is supposed to be a young adult book and it's about, well, chess. Mallory Greenleaf is done with chess. Okay, well, never mind, she's done with chess. But she ends up playing one last charity tournament and she wipes the board with notorious king killer Nolan Sawyer, the current world champion and reigning bad boy of chess. Ooh, we love intellectuals. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I even bought the next book. I'm going to show you. <sighs> this author has ways of advertising her covers that is just so pretty. It is the King of Sins series. This is book one. This is King of Wrath by Anna Huang. This is what it looks like. This is way too close. I keep hitting it. Okay, I honestly have no idea what this is about. Like, I generally have no clue. We have a billionaire girl. Don't we just love billionaire romances? Marriage of Comedians? Is this Marriage of Comedians? Wait, hold on, hold on. Dante Russo, who is a billionaire CEO, thrives on control both personally and professionally. He never planned to marry until the threat of blackmail forces him into an engagement with a woman he barely knows. Huh. Vivian Lau. Jared. I can't read. Jewelry. Jewelry Harris and daughter of his newest enemy. The wife he never wanted and the weakness he never saw coming. Oh my gosh, I love this already. I love the male leads when they're all cold and calculating and they are just ruthless, but when it comes to their girl, they would drop everything just to keep them safe. Okay, wait a minute. It says, it doesn't matter how beautiful or charming she is. Dante would do everything in his power to destroy the black male and their patrol. 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 Patrol, patrol. I can't speak. Patrothal? I know this word, patrol. Where's my phone? I need to know how to say this word correctly. Oh yeah, and I also got my suction phone grip. I'm not the biggest fan of it because it doesn't suction as strongly as I want it to, but I already stuck it. Patrothal. Patrothal? I don't recognize that. Patrothal, according to Google. There is only one problem. Now that he has her, he can't bring himself to let her go. I'm gonna read this one to find out about rich people problems to be Vivian Lau who is the perfect daughter and her family's ticket into the highest echelons of society. Marrying a blue-blooded Russo means opening doors that would otherwise remain closed to her new money parents. While the rude, elusive Dante isn't her idea of a dream partner, she agrees to their arranged marriage out of duty. Craving his touch was never part of the plan. <laughs> Don't it always start that way. Neither was the worst possible outcome, falling in love with her future husband. It's not new, but I think I will have a lot of fun reading this. Which one should I do? Mm, you know what? Let's open. Let's open this bottom one. If I'm correct, I, I think this is the book mail book. Let's open. This is so wrapped it in everything. Oh my god. Okay, there's a envelope in here. If I remember correctly, this is from J.H. Hastings. He is the author of Sunny Villain, and this is that book. Yes, it is. This is not a type of book that I would normally read, but I really want to, again, expand my genre and not only read romance. The cover really gives it that classic feel we're gonna get mystery thriller suspense romance it's all in this book i haven't read it yet um i look forward to reading this one and i want to thank the author jh hastings for gifting me this book here we are the next book is a book i've already read and i just needed to get my hands on the physical book because i love it it's the graham effect by l kennedy it's about Gigi graham and she is the daughter to <laughs> 
Hannah and Garrett. I read this and I'm just so happy that I did. We got Gigi who is a female hockey player. She's working towards being part of the Olympic team. And we also have Ryder who is a hockey player for this rival school who ends up, what is that word? merging no but he ends up having his whole hockey team ends up having to attend briaryu because of something i don't remember it's been a while since i've read this so he ends up attending briaryu as well Gigi and Ryder had actually met one summer and Ryder made a very bad impression in front of garrett who is his idol i know the fact that Ryder idolizes garrett and Gigi's gonna be his love interest i was just I was really excited. Years later, after that summer, they meet again at Briaryu. Ryder wants a spot in Garrett's summer program. He wants the summer coach spot, but because of the bad impression, he wants to work with Gigi to make it happen. And they both make, oh my gosh, they both make a deal. She's gonna help Ryder by talking him up to her dad and he, is gonna help her with hockey. The origins are very similar. It starts with a deal. Ah. Anyway, I read this book five stars and I just absolutely love it. I have the deal and I wanted to at least get my hands on their kid, you know? The next book I have is called This Time It's Real by Anne Liang. Right now, I cannot tell you what this book is about, but I remember reading the synopsis and I was immediately hooked in. Can you fall in love for real with the whole world watching? When 17-year-old Eliza Lin's essay about meeting the love of her life unexpectedly goes viral, her entire life changes overnight. Now she has the approval of her classmates at her new international school in Beijing, a career-launching internship opportunity at her favorite magazine, and a massive secret to keep. Eliza made her essay up. Oh, she's never been in a relationship before, let alone in love. All good writing is lying, right? Desperate to hide the truth, Eliza strikes a deal with the former actor in her class, the charming but aloof Kaz Song. Song. She'll help him write his college applications if he poses as her boyfriend. I don't think that's a good idea. So this is going to be a fake dating trope. When the lines blur between fake and real. I'm like deciding whether I want to unbox one or just show you. We're going to unbox the box. This one is also a book mail and I'm really excited. This one is a fantasy book that is not out yet. Look at this. Unlock your next adventure. The author Laurel Black reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to read her book and I said yes. This is her fantasy debut novel. I feel very special. Let's open this together. Oh my gosh, I feel so spoiled. This is... Uh, there is something in this little mini bag. A tea bag. Oh, a letter. A bookmark. And... Like a pamphlet info of the book. Advance. I have... Oh my gosh, it says advanced reader copy. Yeah, so this book is not out yet. And I'm like... Me? She asked me? This is the whole reason why I wanted to film the book haul in the first place now instead of waiting until next month because I was planning on having this book haul be the last book haul of 2023 which is true but I had an idea that I was going to be getting more books anyway because your girl's birthday is next month so girl I need humbling anyway I wanted to film this next month but it's going to be released next year in January I wanted to read this I want to be one of the first ones to read this before it comes out okay it's, I feel very special it's called Lost Kingdom by Laurel Black. I will read you the plot synopsis right after but I do want to see and read. She was like an ember that still glowed long after the fire faded to ash. I'm like really excited. <sighs> Y'all, this is my first time ever like, getting like all of this. Okay, but look at the detailing of this. Holy. <laughs> Freaking out right now. That is so sweet. Girl, I think it should be me thanking you for giving me this opportunity to read a book that hasn't been released yet. Let's open what's in this little mini goodie bag. It's a key! I have no idea what this is supposed to be, but I have a key. 
am I gonna unlock the Lost Kingdom? Let me read you the synopsis to this. Trusting him is the only way to save the kingdom. Betraying her is the only way to keep them both alive. Are you listening? Stripped of her memories and her... I'm talking about Laurel Black's book. Please let me talk. Let me repeat. <sighs> Stripped of her memories and her magic, Raven has been left for dead. As a prisoner in the enemy's mineral mines, her only clue to who she is and where she came from is the mysterious map tattooed on her hand. A map containing hidden secrets that some people would kill for. Jadak, I think that's how you say his name, is one of those people. A warrior from the Kovac tribe. He's hunting for the powerful Xavian stone. I think that's the stone. <gasps> I think that's what this is. I'm holding the Xavian stone. Is he gonna come after me? So he's hunting that stone to pay the corrupt king's ransom. If he doesn't return home with it by the new moon, his betrothed will be executed. When Jadak discovers that a prisoner named Raven has the only map that leads to the artifact, he allies with her as they navigate treacherous lands and battle against ancient magical forces to unravel the map's secret. But can Raven trust this stranger who is helping her? If the map gets into the wrong hands, thousands of people will die. As their feelings for each other grow, their tenuous alliance begins to fray until Jadak is forced to make a decision betray Raven or forsake his kingdom. Choose wrong and he'll lose everything. Does that not sound like something you want to read? Especially if you love fantasy. Oh, it looks like it's gonna be dual POV. It's dual POV. Hell yes! Thank you to Laura Black for gifting me this. I'm looking forward to reading this book. Girl, I'm looking forward to reading every single book. But this one, you have me. And add it to the stack. Next book is Wreck the Halls by Tessa Bailey. This is a book that I got because the holidays are coming. I was in that festive mood, so I got this one. I don't own a lot of Christmas books, so this is this is new. Ooh, it's about a daughter of music royalty. But she wants to avoid the limelight. But when a producer offers her a lot of money to reunite her mother's band on live TV, Mel begins to wonder if it's time to rattle the cage shake up her quiet life and see him again. The him being Beat Dawkins. Beat Dawkins, the lead singer's son, is Melody's opposite. The camera loves him. He could charm the pants off anyone. Anyone. And his mom is not a potential cult leader. What? Where did that come from? Still, they might have been best friends if not for the legendary feud that broke up the band. When they met as teenagers, Mel felt an instant spark, but it's nothing compared to the wild, intense attraction that leads as they embark on a madcap mission to convince their mothers to perform one last show. What does this have to do with Christmas? Oh, 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 oh. While dealing with rock star shenanigans, a 24-hour film crew, brawling Santas, and mobs of adoring fans, Mel starts to step out of her comfort zone. With Beat by her side, cheering her on, she's never felt so understood. I guess their beef is resolved pretty quickly. But Christmas Eve is fast approaching and a decades-old scandal is poised to wreck everything. The Steel Birds reunion, their relationships with their mothers, and their newfound love. I kind of want to read this next month. I'm going to open this one, and then I'm going to go to the last book that I've already opened up. Nice. There are two books in here. So this one is Same Time Next Summer by... This is the author. This is clearly a book to be read in the summer. So we're gonna save this for when it's summer. This one is a book about two guys and one girl. And she, her name is Sam. She's gonna have to make a decision whether she wants to be with her fiance or this other guy who is her Wyatt. So I'm guessing it's an old lover. I also picked this one out because it reminded me of One True Love by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Anyway, this is same time next summer. It's not a thick book at all. This is not even 300 pages. And the last book in this package is... Ah. The Things We Leave Unfinished by Rebecca Yaros. I actually remember reading a few spoilers to this one and I thought, oh, this is going to be heart-wrenching. I remember seeing this book a lot even before Fourth Wing came out so I have seen this floating around. The idea of this book, the plot of this is very similar to The Notebook or just 
Nicholas Sparks vibes. I've never read of Nicholas Sparks book, but I have watched his movies. So this one is about 28 year old Georgia Stanton, who has to start over after she gave up almost everything in a brutal divorce. The New York house, the friends, and her pride. Now back home at her late great grandmother's estate in Colorado, she finds herself face to face with Noah Harrison, the best selling author of a million books where the cover is always people nearly kissing. That's before discreet covers came along. He's just as arrogant in person as in interviews, and she'll be damned if the good looking writer of love stories thinks he's the one to finish her grandmother's final novel. Definitely not going to be heading into rarity territory. Noah is at the pinnacle of his career. With book and movie deals galore, there isn't much the golden boy of modern fiction hasn't accomplished. But he can't walk away from what might be the best book of the century, the one his idol, Scarlett Stanton, left unfinished. Coming up with a fitting ending for the legendary author is one thing, but dealing with her beautiful, stubborn, cynical great-granddaughter, Georgia, is quite another. But as they read Scarlett's words in both the manuscript and her box of letters, they start to realize why Scarlett never finished the book. It's based on her real life romance with a World War II pilot and the ending isn't a happy one. Georgia knows all too well that love never works out. And while the chemistry and connection between her and Noah is undeniable, she's as determined as ever to learn from her great grandmother's mistakes even if it means destroying Noah's career. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry in this one? There was another book on my shelf that I forgot to bring over. So technically we have two books left. And let me show you this one first. So this one is Night Bane by Alex Astor. This one is the sequel to Light Lark. I have not started that one yet, but I wanted to pick this one up. I'm not gonna read the synopsis to this one because I have not read the first one and I feel like there could be possible spoilers in the synopsis. So we're not gonna open this one, but here is another book that I bought. Last but not least, A Curse for True Love. This is the normal cover. I actually saw a version of this one with a prettier dust jacket when I went to Barnes & Noble, but I already had this at home. So here we are with this cover and it, I mean, it matches the rest of the copies that I have anyway. This is the final book in the trilogy for Once Upon a Broken Heart. I started the first book and I have not read the sequel, but this is the final book and obviously I have the first two. I got the last one because I really did enjoy the first one and I feel like this one would not disappoint. I read some of your comments and you guys were saying how the series gets better. So I trust, I trust. There you go, the last book in today's video. And that's it, that's it for today's video. This is going to be the last book haul of 2023 or at least the last book haul centered video on my channel for this year. We need to be on the BBB and it's gonna start it started the moment I got my last book it started and I want to thank the two authors Laura Black and J.H. Hastings for sending me their books again thank you so much for watching today's video make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you all in my next video bye